When you first enable features for planning modules, you can add custom dimensions. The process of enabling features, including map or name dimensions, is similar for financials, workforce, projects, and capital. Let's go to the configure page for financials and start enabling features. Each module provides components that you can enable incrementally. The components come with custom dimensions that are used by predefined accounts and drivers. For example, for financials, I'll enable product under accounts and drivers for revenue planning. You must define all custom dimensions the first time you enable features, drivers, and options. You can't define custom dimensions later. Here are the out-of-the-box custom dimensions for financials. You can add products and services and up to three additional custom dimensions. Plan element delineates the different types and sources of data used in the application. If you want to plan by channel and market, you can add them as custom dimensions. You can rename custom dimensions if they have the same name as the dimension you are enabling and you want to keep both dimensions. Remember that all dimensions, including custom dimensions, must have a unique name. When you add a custom dimension, you associate that dimension to the features the dimension applies. When you associate the custom dimension to a feature, it is added to the page axis in forms and applicable rules in that feature. In this example, we plan to track product revenue, so I'll associate product with a revenue feature. You can incrementally associate custom dimensions with additional features after you first enable a module. After verifying your selected features and custom dimensions, run the enable process. When the feature enablement process completes, sign out and sign back in. I'll go to Dimension Editor and review the custom dimensions added during the enable process. In Dimension Editor, I'll select the Financials cube. Here are the custom dimensions I added, Plan Element, Product, and Market. Now let's look at forms loaded during the enable process. Since I enabled product and market for revenue planning, they were added to the page axis of the form. Let's look at the form layout. Here are the custom dimensions I added in the form's design view. If I open an expense form, you'll notice that the product and market custom dimensions are not shown since they were not enabled for expense. In the form's design view, the custom dimensions are in the POV and assigned with a no member type member. Similarly, the custom dimensions were automatically added to financials business rules. You can use existing custom dimensions in multiple modules. For example, if you set up projects and later enable workforce and capital, you can take advantage of any existing dimensions that are common between the two. Take note of the project custom dimensions I added to projects. In projects, our company plans to allocate project expenses to create one or more capital assets. When I enabled Workforce, I mapped the project custom dimension so we can analyze the utilization of employees across projects. And in the case of Capital, I mapped the same project custom dimension so we can view asset usage from projects. Use this feature so you don't have to rebuild a common dimension when you enable a new module. Learn more about integration scenarios in the Administering Planning Modules documentation or step through the integration process with our hands-on tutorials. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.